time. We'll be doing it and we'll have time. Oh my gosh, you are like spy, you know? You came here and I didn't know that you are here. <laughs> okay, hello guys, welcome to my channel, Recollection and with you as usual, Mr. T. You know, uh, today I'm imitating that I'm reading a book, especially for you guys. Uh, today we are in a, my university. Uh, as you know, I have already graduated in this university, but I like to come and see it. Like, uh, I like to read books. Uh, we are in our library, guys. And today's topic about grammar rules as usual, and today we will talk about, as I mentioned before, will be doing and will have done. Let's start. Hello again, guys. As I pointed before, today's topic about will be doing and will have done. Okay guys, uh, let's start with an example and I think after this you will understand better what is uh, future continuous and what is future perfect. Okay guys, uh, let's listen. Uh, for example, a team is fan of the football and there is football match on TV and uh, Anne wants to come but you know football starts uh, at uh, 7 30 and uh, ends uh, at uh, 9 30. And, and I asked from Tim, can I come at uh, 8 30? Uh, but uh, Tim asked, not. That time I will be watching football. And uh, she, uh, she asked, okay, uh, what about uh, 9, what about 10 o'clock? And Tim asked, Okay, it will be great because at that time my football match will have finished. Okay, we mentioned about uh, will uh, will be watching and about uh, will have finished. Okay, you know, uh, for example, when we talk about will be doing, uh, we talk about future accents. What will what will be in the future in a certain time? I mean, for example, a top team will be watching uh, that football at that time when Anne asked that he came, but at that time, uh, Tom will be watching because at the time, uh, will be football. In a, I mean, a top team will be in the middle of some action. And uh, he said that uh, my football match will have finished at 10 because you know uh, when he said this he mentioned that at the time in the future i mean his football match will have finished i mean uh, he will have uh, uh, how can i say uh, finish it to watch that uh, um, football or movie I, I don't know and so on Okay guys, let me give you the second example in order to make sure and in order to feel sure that I can explain to you uh, I what I just mentioned about will be doing about future continues and uh, let's start. Okay, team works uh, from uh, 9 o'clock to midday. Uh, at 10 o'clock yesterday he was working and we mentioned about past continues about certain time uh, which was happening in the past. Uh, the second one is, it is 10 o'clock and he's working right now, now. We mentioned about present continuous and it is happening now, in the present time. Okay, the third one is really interesting, it is about our topic. Uh, okay, it in the 10 o'clock tomorrow, uh, team will be working. We mentioned it about future, uh, about certain time uh, which will be happening in the future. It is uh, future continuous, guys. Okay, uh, you know, guys, uh, let's talk about will be doing. Uh, and you know, we use will be doing. I mean, we use future continuous when we. Want to mention about some 
plans of people. We have already decided to do something and we can use future continues also, you know, we, that we, we will mention about future. I mean, it will be in the future, but it's about our plans. Okay, guys, let's start. For example, I'll be going to the city center. Can I get something for you? And you know, uh, when we use future continuous, it's almost similar. I mean, it is similar with the present continuous because we are talking about plans of people. And you know, we can say just in order to uh, they uh, will be doing, we can say uh, I'm, I'm doing, for example. For example, uh, I'm going to see this center later, maybe, you know. And I mean, they are similar. And also, we use uh, future continues when we uh, want to ask something from uh, people or when we want to uh, take something from them. For example, uh, will you use your motorbike tomorrow? And uh, maybe uh, your friend answered, no, you can just take it. And second one is, uh, will you be reading your book? later uh, and your friend asked also he said no if you want to read just take it and read you know uh, we use this in order to ask something in order to know uh, she needs it now or he can give you this for a while uh, I mean it's like a, a polite way of asking something from people Let's begin, guys. Let's begin to talk about uh, future perfect. We'll have done. Okay. When we use will have done, when we use will have done, we, when we talk about a certain time which will have finished in the future. Okay. Do you remember about team's football match and you know it uh, ends, for example, 9:50? And, uh, uh, for example, after this, uh, maybe 10 o'clock, uh, you can say that uh, his football match will have finished at the time, I mean, at 10 o'clock. Uh, okay, uh, let me give you some more examples about this. For example, next year, 25th anniversary of Tim and Helen. They will have been married for uh, 25 years. Now they are uh, married 24 years and uh, it will be in the future uh, and uh, they, they will have been uh, married uh, for 25 years. Uh, okay, the second example about this. Uh, okay, the second example, for example, uh, we are late and uh, the cinema will already have started by the time we got the cinema. You know that uh, cinema starts uh, at certain time, and uh, you are sure that uh, it have started. Uh, I mean, it will have started in the future. Okay, guys, I think that's all. I tried as much I can uh, explain to you about these uh, rules. Okay, and thank you for watching my video. And just you know, I wanna show you this book, and uh, I highly recommend to you to read this book. I think all of you know and all of you used this book uh, and uh, you know it's really useful and a lot of people start to learn grammar from the red one but blue one is really really beautiful and I mean it's more advanced it's not really advanced but anyway it is how can I say it is packed with uh, new words in a red one uh, you can just uh, come across to simple words and they they repeat each other all the time but in a blue one we can learn new words and guys like please try to use uh, some kind of rules and also new words in your speaking thank you for watching with you while we're Mr. Tim and Mr. Bhaktiwa, you know, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to, about leaving comments, guys. Thank you.